Well, on Monday, of course, the Dow plunged nearly 1,200 points, the largest drop ever on a single day. Thankfully, it made some of that ground back today. Uh, joining us now live to talk about what in the world is happening on Wall Street, we welcome in Matt Ingram, lecturer in finance at uh, Rice State University. Welcome. Great, thanks. To Five on Two. There, there was a song back in the 70s with the lyric, What Goes Up? must come down, right. that, that could be the theme song on Wall Street right now. What in the world is going on? Yeah, so what happened was on Friday, there was some economic news. And the news indicated that there may be some uh, inflation creeping into the economy. Uh, the bond market responded by raising interest rates a little bit. So uh, investors got a little scared because we've been living at a time of very low inflation, very low interest rates. And so uh, many on Wall Street think that this may indicate a sea change where we may have higher interest rates in the future. The Federal Reserve has also started to raise short-term interest rates. Right. So, you know, it may be that there may be a little more competition for the investor's dollar. You talked about that financial news on Friday. Some of it, I thought, was good news regarding the job market. A lot of people don't, are having a hard time understanding how come good news on jobs suddenly means a thousand point drop on, in the Dow? Right, so uh, it, it was good news on the economy. Uh, it's a very tight labor market. That means that uh, employers are forced to pay higher wages mm -hmm. to bring workers on board. Higher wages means wage inflation, which usually gets passed along to customers. And we all pay higher prices. So that's really the fear. The fear is that if inflation starts to come into the system, it's going to lead to higher interest rates. The Dow has been on this precipitous rise really right. since Election Day. And of mm -hmm. course, President Trump was rightly or wrongly claim, claiming a lot of uh, credit for that. And we can talk about that in a second if you want. But uh, uh, the way it was rising, you knew that couldn't last forever. Something was going to balance it out. Right. The stock market kind of reminded me. Uh, remember earlier in today's broadcast, you saw the... Uh, SpaceX rocket yes. going up, right? That's what the stock market has been doing really over the last two years. And we've had a, you know, we've been in a bull market almost nine years. But what's different is the last two years, we've had very low volatility, you know, very low turbulence in the market. Uh, the last couple of trading days, we've been reintroduced to some volatility. We've been reintroduced to, you know, a few down days that kind of shake investors' confidence from time to time. We, we've heard the president in his first year in office quite often speaking about, boy, have you seen the stock market? It's right. doing great and really kind of talking that up. Of course, he hasn't been saying much the past couple of days. <laughs> right. Let's talk a little bit about the danger of a politician or a president hitching his wagon to the stock market. It can, it can bite you. Yeah, it's, it's really never a good idea to, in my opinion, to you know, marry your uh, administration to the stock market. Because the market moves on a lot of different uh, indicators and there are shocks from inside and outside the economy that can move the market around. Um, so, you have to be, so you have to be careful. Uh, I think if you, if you say that the stock market is an indication of you know, what's happening to your administration, that may or may not be true. I mean, I think the fundamentals of the economy are pretty strong. You know, we've got really low unemployment, uh, corporate profits are growing. Mm -hmm. The I tax think, cut? Yep, the tax cut. Mm -hmm. I, think the, I think the thing that may derail the market a little bit, and this has to do with higher interest rates, is what's going to be the impact on the deficit? All right. You know, yeah. well, well, I think we're all breathing a sigh of relief that we, we gained back half of what we lost yesterday. So, yeah. But it, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Matt Ingram from Bright State. So much. Appreciate Great it. insights. Glad to be here. Bright